हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सौरव सर्स क्लासेस द क्वेश्चन इज अ प्रीमियर बी स्कूल विच इज़ इन प्रोसेस ऑफ गेटिंग एन डबल ए सी एस बी अक्रेडिटेशन हैज़ थ्री सिक्सटी सेकेंड ईयर स्टूडेंट्स टू इनकॉपरेट सस्टेन एबिलिटी इन टू द करिकुलम इट हैज़ ऑफर थ्री न्यू इलेक्टिव सब्जेक्ट्स इन द सेकेंड ईयर नेमली ग्रीन सप्लाई चेन ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड बिजनेस corporate governance so let us set acronyms for this so green supply chain let this be gsc global climate change and business the so global climate change business so gwcb and corporate governance cg now 12 students have taken all three all the three electives so plotting this in a venn diagram let me see if i have space okay so i'll do it over here so now let this be gsc let this be gccb and this be cg So twelve students have taken all the three electives, and one twenty students have taken green supply chain. There are twice as many students who study green supply chain and corporate governance, but not global climate change and business, as those who study both green supply chain and global climate change and business. but not the corporate governance and four times as many who study all the three so green supply chain and corporate governance is studied by four times as many students who study all three so this is 48 and there are twice as many students who study green supply chain and corporate governance but not global climate change and business as those who study both green supply chain and global climate change and business but not the corporate governance so this is half of 48 and so this is 24 the 124 students study corporate governance there are 72 students who could not muster up the courage to take any of these subjects the group of study students who study both green supply chain and corporate governance but not global climate change and business is exactly the same as the group made up of the students who study global climate change and business and corporate governance so This is also forty-eight, and corporate governance is twenty is studied by one twenty-four, which was given. So corporate governance is studied by only sixteen. Now there are seventy-two students who do not study any elective. Then. how many students study global climate change and business only therefore the students studying global climate change and business only equals 360 minus 72 minus 36 minus 24 minus 48 minus 12 minus 48 minus 16 and this comes out to be 104 therefore the correct option is option b